Hello there, Simon Trades here, or some people like to call me Simon Trades. Now this is day for the Simon Trades Summer Staycation Rail Journey. And in that direction is Warrington Central. Because today, one of my three stations I'm visiting is actually a new railway station. And this is Warrington West Railway Station. Opened in December 2019, the same day as Rob Royston Railway Station. So, the railway journey today will be calling at the following three principal stations. And the first one is Warrington West. Birchwood and our last station of the day, Ashbury's, which is just right here. We're actually on the former Wood headline from Manchester London Road, which is now Manchester Piccadilly, to Sheffield Victoria, which is now a disused railway station. The line actually got cut back to Hadfield, which is where some of the 323s go. Now, we're doing Warrington West Railway Station because it's a brand new railway station that I want to try. I haven't been there yet, so it's quite interesting to do it. Plus, um, it didn't help with the current situation with the lockdown and all that, but since it's been lifted a bit, we can do that station now. We're also visiting Birchwood Railway Station because I have been there once when it was a trans Express Railway Station, but now it's a Northern Railway Station. So hopefully we can still see some trans Express stuff at this Northern Railway Station. Plus we'll be filming trains there too. And plus Ashbury Station, we're filming here because you can get nice tones through here for the drivers. And plus it is a busy route out of Manchester Piccadilly with a junction just down the bottom with trains going towards Romley and onto Sheffield. And also call up Rose Hill Marple. Then you've got the trains to the Woodhead route to Hatfield. And then they turn off at Guy Bridge to go to Staybridge for Transpellent Express services. So we're going to be starting at Rugey Trev Valley Railway Station after the intro gets rolled. So here comes the intro. I'll meet you at Rugey Trev Valley Railway Station. Hello, my name is Simon and I'm a rail enthusiast for the town of Rugey in Staffordshire. And I also use the railway to travel around the country. These are my journeys across the United Kingdom by the Iron Rails which sometimes can go successful or end up in a disaster. The block now approaching this YouTube channel is the next Siren Trains Railway Journey and I welcome you to this service. So please sit back and enjoy the adventure. So today's journey starts at Rooshi Tread Valley Railway Station. Now as you saw on the Colton Road, I did get 35237 arriving into Rooshi Tread Valley. Now I did walk it from the town centre because I did get some uh, food and drink for today, just to uh, last me throughout the day. And also the weather is actually nice and cool at the moment, which is a change because this heat wave the past three days we've had is absolutely crazy. I don't know how people can wear face coverings during a heat wave like this. It is impossible, you say, but it's still doable. A quick story is on Tuesday when I went down to Long Buckby on the train from Rugeley Town to Birmingham International. I was like really sweating like crazy to the point that I was feeling a bit distressed, to be honest. Now, I'm going to be honest with you because I have learning difficulties and I am technically exempt from wearing a face covering, but I just want to wear it just so... If you see me wearing one, then you wear one, of course. So... But at some point, if it gets too much, then I will have to get an exemption badge. But at the moment, it's still doable that I can wear a face covering. But honestly, though, it's some place to go to. It's not actually that bad, to be fair. But anyway, so our first train of the day will be the 0924 to crew. And then when we get to crew, we've got a quick change around to get the 0959 to the Upper South Parkway.
We now made it to Hud's Cross Railway Station. Now, this part was actually not planned in my railway journey today because I had half an hour to kill at Liverpool South Parkway. So I thought, well, if there's trains to Hud's Cross that I could catch, I could catch one and meet up with the train that was supposed to catch at Liverpool South Parkway at Hud's Cross. And that's exactly what I did. And plus I had a cheeky Mersey Rail Class 507 rise. So we were actually waiting for the 11.13 now to Manchester Oxford Road which stops at my first destination I want to film at which is a brand new railway station which opens on the 15th of December 2019 and it is Warrington West. So this is the first station I shall be filming trains at today and this is one of the newest stations that opened in late 2019. This is Warrington West Railway Station. Now it has an hourly northern service here, this is two platforms and a northern railway station. I'll do the quick, well, I want to call it a history of this station because it's not been opened less than a year. So I think instead of doing the station history for this station, it's going to be the station information for this station because there's not really much history on this railway station being honest but uh, we're here till half past 12 before we move on to our next station Birchwood but here's some um, interesting information about Warrington West Railway Station so here's some um, history on Warrington West Railway Station and some information it opened on the 15th of December 2019 the same day as Rob Royston's station opened in Scotland the station was built to serve the Omega development site and Chapelford urban village of housing estate. Sadly though, when this station opened, there's a station half a mile in the direction we're looking at, west of here, at Sankey for Penkef, which had a massive reduction of trains serving to four trains a day. 
So we're going to get some fast trains passing through here before we go back over to the other side of the platform to catch my train to Birchwood. We're now back on platform one at Warrington West. We are going to head to our next destination, Birchwood. Now this station opened in the 1980s, but I'll explain that more when I get to Birchwood. We're only calling at Warrington Central on the way. So our train should be arriving now, four coaches, a northern service, to take me to Birchwood. This is my second station day I've visited today, Birchwood. Now I've only been here once, so that was years ago. But when I was here on my first visit to Birchwood, because this is only my second visit, my first visit, this was a trans Express railway station. Now, if you remember when I did the blog of Witness, Huff Green and Liverpool South Parkway, I did mention that the Liverpool services went from Liverpool High Street to Liverpool South Parkway, along this line towards Manchester Piccadilly, onto Scarborough and Birchwood was one of the stops they called at. But now, them services have been diverted to go by uh, St Helens Junction and this is now a Northern Railway station but it still has two platforms. So we're going to do a very brief history of Birchwood Railway Station and then fill some more Northern Rail DMUs before we move on to Manchester. There was not much to say about Birchwood Railway Station because there wasn't much on Wikipedia but Birchwood Station opened in July 1981 by British Rail and serves the Birchwood district to the northeast of Warrington. So we'll just fill some more northern DMUs now before we leave.
there is still some remnants that this used to be a Transpel Express railway station. That six car board up there has 185 on it because the class 185 DMUs did serve this station. And that six car board is still there. I'm in the uh, waiting room on the Manchester bound platform at Birchwood and as you can see these boards here, nothing special about them but if you crouch down they've still got the Transpale Express logo on them which is interesting to see. That's the old Transpale Island Express livery because at the time it was first Transpale Express before they rebranded themselves as Transpale Express. So there's still some of that knocking around which is good. You can also just make it out on the station name board, you can just see the Transpiride Express logo poking out what's being vialed over by a purplish blue sticker. That used to tell you that this did used to be a Transpiride Express railway station. Our time at Birchwood is nearly up. Now I did show you some Transpiride Express stuff that's still hanging around here, even though the station doesn't belong to them anymore. Because, as I mentioned, Transpel Express did used to serve this station, but now they've been diverted to go along the Liverpool to Manchester railway lines by St. Helens Junction. And this is a northern railway station now. Even though the station was built here in 1981, the lines were actually here a bit earlier because the Cheshire Lines Committee actually used this line from Liverpool Central to get to Manchester. Now, we did get here a bit later actually, so we did miss out on the train because we were supposed to arrive at 39 and the next train was at 41. So we're going to be missing a train out of this filming session, but it's not too bad. So we're going to be on the 1339, this will take me to Manchester Oxford Road. And then Manchester Oxford Road, I have two choices, I can walk it to Manchester Piccadilly or I can get a train to Manchester Piccadilly. Either way, I'm going to change at Manchester to get to my last station I'll be filming today, Ashbury's, on the Woodhead route. I've literally walked it from Manchester Oxford Road to Manchester Piccadilly because in front of me is the trad entrance and exit for Piccadilly Metro Link stop which is just uh, right behind there. So, I'm going to see what the next train is to Ashbury's when I get to Piccadilly Station.
Now this is our final station of the day we visited today, Ashbury's, which is the second station out of Manchester going towards Guy Bridge because the first station is Ardwick. Now, if you want to see some Class 76 and 77 electric locomotives, you're out of luck because they disappeared ages ago. But we do have uh, diesel and electric multiple units along this line. So, I thought where last night I wanted to go after would be to Warrington West and Birchwood, and Ashbury's was on the list. So, this is why I'm at Ashbury's. We're going to do a brief history of Ashbury's station and then fill some more trades because this is actually a busy station when it comes to filming trains. Now this is the brief station history of Ashbury Station because this is a busy commuter line out of Manchester. It opened by the Sheffield Ashton under line and Manchester Railway July 1855. The station relayed Ashbury's for Openshaw in November 1855 and in August 1856 it was renamed Ashbury's for Bellevue. But the station was named after the Ashbury Railway Carriage and Iron Company Limited. We're going to carry on filming some more trains here before we head back to Manchester Piccadilly.
We're now made it onto platform two at Ashbury's. And as you can see, platform two is not really the best side if you want to film trades. You're better off on platform one, as you've just seen in the video. Now, I do have two choices of trades. There's a 1546 out of here to Manchester Piccadilly, which is Rose Hill Marple trade. We'll start at Rose Hill Marple, then goes to Manchester Piccadilly. That'd be, I think they'd be class 150 DMUs. Or I could wait three minutes later to get the next 323 back into Manchester. Because when I get back to Manchester Piccadilly, I'm going to start my way back home. Now, in my last video, I showed you how you could book a seat reservation with a Rover ticket for Avanti West Coast. This one, I've done the same with Cross Country, but they haven't given me a seat reservation though, but I'll show you how you do that soon. I'm now on the 1627 cross country service to Bournemouth bus, I'm getting off at Stafford. Before we leave, I'm going to show you how you get a, well, it's not actually a reserved seat you don't get, but I'll show you what you do with cross country if you have a Rover ticket and want to use their services. This short video is how you go about getting a seat on cross country trade services. Now I didn't say getting a reserved seat, but that will be explained later on. And if you remember the last video, it's the same way as a booked a seat on the Vancy West Coast. If you book an advance ticket on cross country trades, they automatically give you a reserved seat. But using any type of peak or rover tickets, you can't book a reserved seat. This short video is how I went about by getting a seat on cross country trains using a rover ticket. My rover ticket I'm using is the Coast and Peaks 4 and 8 day rover. For this purpose, I'm using social media, which I'm using Twitter. My Twitter account is at Simon Trains. You can tweet them, but for this purpose, I DM them. DM means direct message, which I show a photo of a Rover ticket and asking to be booked on the 1627 Manchester Piccadilly to Stafford. This service carries on to Bournemouth. After you sent the message, you have to wait a few minutes, but the maximum wait time is 10 minutes, and cross-country trains get back to you. However, they give you a reservation reference number for the train, that you want to be booked on but not allocating specific seats. So you can sit anywhere on their service. This is so they can count how many people that are using the train so they can maintain social distancing. Once that limit of passengers is met, they will not be sending any more tickets for that train and you won't be allowed to travel on that train you want to be booked on. Sadly, I don't know how the maximum number of passengers that are allowed on that train. Also, they're asking you to sit at any of the other window seats and maintain social distancing. And the reference number is just internal use only and cannot be printed at railway stations. So the train crew knows you're booked on their service. 
So, we're going to leave Manchester Piccadilly now and take a video montage passing through some stations or stopping at some stations back to Stafford. <laughs>
from the 1755 London North Western Railway service to London Euston, for the commercial train family, Lichfield train family, Tamworth, Atherstone, Manhattan, Rugby, Milton Keynes Centre, and London Euston. This train was formed for eight years. back at Rouge Trip Valley Railway Station and I'm going to summarise today up because it has really been a good day to be honest. We started here at 0924 in the morning, went up to Crewe, we changed trains at Crewe and got the Liverpool train off Crewe. I could have got it at Stafford because we did get it for 0932 but instead I decided to change trains at Crewe and still caught it anyway. Then went to Liverpool South Park where I had a quick um, Mersey ride 507 ride down to Hunts Cross. Now that was not planned because I'm going to sit out at Liverpool South Parkway for half an hour or so but I had some time to kill so I thought well, I might as well do it. But Hunts Cross will be featured in a blog a couple of days that I'll be filming it on Saturday so it'll be about a week from now but it will be featured on Hunts Cross. Then went to Warrington West, brand new station, did not get a nice station to be honest and it did look a good filming location as well. So Warrington West was brilliant. Then went over to Birchwood. The last time I did Birchwood Station, the sun was actually over the tracks on the western side. And some of the pictures actually came out bad, to be honest, because of the sun. But today, though, it has been brilliant. OK, yes, we don't get the trans Line Express Class 185s anymore, because they be cascaded onto the Liverpool Manchester Railway by St Helens but it's still nice to get some trains there. Then went over to Manchester Oxford Road and then I walked it to Manchester Piccadilly I think it took about 12 to 15 minutes it wasn't that bad of a walk actually it was a nice walk to be honest and then Manchester Piccadilly got the train over to Ashbury's actually got there a little earlier than planned because I was supposed to go on a Rose Hill Marple train but ended up going on a Glossop train but we had a good an hour and 15 minutes at Ashbury's. It is a good location to be honest, especially with enthusiasts because they do get um, a lot of haulage there. Haulage, I mean like tones off the uh, drivers. They don't have to do it, but it's nice of them to do it. And went back over to Manchester Piccadilly and then caught the 1627 cross country service back to Stafford, which has showed you the video how you could do it with the reserve seats if you've got a rover ticket. It's basically like a fancy west coast but with cross country is they don't give you a seat reservation. All it is is that it's just a count. They go by counting how many people on the train. So you can sit anywhere you want with a booking reference but you don't actually have a reserve seat. It's just so they can keep count basically. And then we got the train back over here and then soon 350 237 will be taking me to Rougie Town where the blog will be ended. So, 
the next vlog, I don't know when it will be because, well, it will be tomorrow, Friday, I'll be filming it. But I don't know what I'm going to be doing because I might have a short day Friday because Saturday I do actually have a big day planned. But I'll explain that one tomorrow in the next one. So this blog hasn't been terminated Rouge Tread Valley yet because we've still got one mile 25 chase to go. But thank you for watching Simon Trains and we'll see you for the next rail journey which will be in a couple of days time but I'll be filming it tomorrow. So I think there might be an odd freight train coming through and then we'll get this train back to Rouge Town and end it.